things that happens when you teach the Bible as a professor in a college or a university or seminary is that you hear certain questions over and over and over again. You get the same questions from different students across a wide variety of perspectives. So what I've tried to do in this new series, Why We Believe, answering common questions about the Catholic faith, is put together eight of the most common and most important questions that I've been asked over the years about Catholic faith and Catholic practices. Whether it's basic foundational questions such as, does God exist? Um, is Jesus God? And if he is, how do we know that he's God? All the way to things like, why do we believe that the Eucharist is really the body and blood of Christ? Do Catholics worship Mary? And if they're not worshiping her, why do they pray to her? Why do they ask her to intercede for them? All the way to questions such as life after death, purgatory. Why do we pray for the dead? What's that all about? Where is purgatory in the Bible? All these common questions about Catholicism that I get over and over and over again through the years are all here treated in one place. And what I tried to do as I was putting the series together was not presuppose anything. Like in other words, you don't have to be a Catholic to watch this series because I start straight from the beginning with the most foundational question. Is there a God and how do we know he exists? And then I'll walk you through step by step to issues such as the divinity of Jesus. How do we know he's divine? What's the evidence for his divinity? To things such as where did we get the Bible? How do we know what books go in the Bible? And who decided anyway? And then once we've looked at questions such as that, we can ask questions such as, what does the Bible say about Peter and the papacy? Is that a scriptural institution or is it a tradition of men? All the way to things like the biblical roots of confession, which is a very controversial uh, issue. Why do I have to confess my sins to a priest? I can't tell you how many times I've heard that question. So if you've ever had any of those questions, um, maybe you are an atheist, maybe you don't even believe God exists. Maybe you are a Protestant Christian and you have serious questions about Catholic beliefs about Mary or purgatory or the Pope. Maybe you're a Catholic and you've always wondered, why do we really believe that Jesus is present in the body and blood of Jesus? Or where did we get the Bible anyway? Why are there more books in the Catholic Bible than in Protestant Bibles? Wherever you are, whatever background you're coming from, this series is perfect for anyone who's ever had questions about the biblical and philosophical foundations of the Catholic faith. So if you've ever wondered why Catholics believe what we believe, then this is the series for you.